Okay, some of you are not a fan of AI, and I get that. Some of you are AI lovers and you use it all the time. And then there are some of you who are indifferent. Like you might use AI when it's convenient. You might remove the background from a photo and that's AI that does that by the way, no matter what tool you're using. Or maybe you're only using ChatGPT for helping write things like your descriptions or your captions. Well, no matter where you fit within those parameters, we at Kittle wanna be clear with you about where we stand in the AI discussion, because that's what it is. This is an ongoing discussion. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what our principles are on creativity and where AI fits or doesn't fit into those principles. I'm gonna talk about how we're building and utilizing AI with Kittle here, including which tools are using AI and what everybody wants to know, which is whether we're training our models on stuff. And then lastly, I'm going to go through a long list of questions we've collected from you all and answer every one of them. And I wanna be clear about this right here at the beginning. Kittle is not an AI only tool. We are not just some AI art generator. We never were that, that's never been our goal. We are a graphic design tool made by real graphic designers and we also include and embed AI powered tools if you want to use them. In other words, you do not have to use these AI tools if you do not want to. We know AI can be a force for good and a force for evil. There are obviously horrible uses for AI, like asking it to basically create a replica of someone's work or removing a watermark from an image you clearly don't own or people using deep fakes of people's voices and faces online to sell a random product. All of that, of course, is wrong. And those are all user behavior issues. The AI really just exists, just like a camera or a keyboard exists, waiting for you to input and direct the next action. All right, let's get into the details. I'll start with a brief mission statement and then go into those principles I mentioned. At Kittle, we aim to build a design tool where AI can make you 100 times more productive while being fully under your control. That is the goal. There are a lot of pieces to the creative workflow that can feel slow and scattered. I know this. You know this. Sometimes that can be a small task like finding the right typeface, which could take hours to find. Or maybe it's something really big like drawing or illustrating a very specific graphic in a very specific style. Well, AI can accelerate many parts of that creative process. Key word there is can. We want AI to help spark your ideas and iterate on them in real time meaning. You can take your idea, it's up in your head, you're gonna let AI come up with a concept or a generalized look and then let it iterate on that idea a few different ways that will give you more options than you would have thought of originally. The idea is that if you have a constant flow of new inspiration, you can discover a lot more options, see a lot more styles, and hopefully get to your desired outcome a lot faster. Okay, now let's go over three core principles we have about AI at Kittle. Number one, creativity is human. AI can help you move faster. Things like your intent, your taste, and the emotion are the essence of great design. Now we want AI at Kittle to remove the bottlenecks and barriers so that you can explore, experiment, and elevate your workflow. Here's what our founder, Tobias Saul, has to say on AI in design. When the iPad came out, it changed how I draw things. It didn't make me less of an artist. It actually helped me explore ideas more freely. Well, that's how I think about AI. It won't replace the emotion and thought that goes into good design, but it can help you move faster and aim bigger. I use AI in my creative work all of the time now, it's become a tool I trust and I want other creatives to feel the same freedom from it. Similarly, think about how painters felt when the first camera came out, digital camera. We still have painters and photographers today. And the irony is that a lot of painters are gonna be using a fancy camera now to take a really high resolution photo of their painting so that they can better show it online and make a sale. So there's always gonna be shifts and displacement in a growing digital world. And the best defense against that is continuous learning, having an idea of what's going on. Our goal is to have you best prepared for these shifts 
setting you up for success, whether or not you want to use the tools or not. Number two, AI can enhance your voice, but it will never replace it. AI at Kittle is designed to elevate your creativity, but every feature is optional and every action is under your control. It's never going to do something without you asking or telling a tool. For example, here are some ways you can use AI if and when you want to. Number one, removing the background from images. Two, vectorizing a static image into a fully editable colored vector graphic. Number three, generate graphic elements, images, or text. Four, explore variations of your original design. Five, apply transformations and styles to your original design. And six, help you generate copy if visuals are more your thing than words. Your work is under your control. With Kittle AI can help you complete a project by doing some of those longer tedious tasks in minutes, but you're still creating the design. Number three, the creative path is the purpose, and we're here to keep that purpose moving. Design is a process of discovery, expression, and obviously mastery. At Kittle, we believe in the future of design being a hybrid endeavor, meaning design is human-led, AI accelerated. We want to provide the best tools and resources that help you understand how the AI works, help you apply it with purpose and confidence, and keep you ahead of the curve as the creative digital landscape evolves. Okay, now let's talk about how we're building AI tools at Kittle and what the future will look like. And this video update is as of July 2025, so things are obviously going to evolve and look different in the coming years. Firstly, your work is your property. So if that was your fear, it is now expelled. We have two modes for our generative AI tools that you can choose between to ensure this. First is private mode, and that's the default mode, which ensures your designs and generations are never used to train our model. On the other hand, you have public mode, and that lets you opt in to help improved shared tools and support the community through your generated assets or images. Now, you can find that toggle in our generative AI tool panel, and if you're ever unsure or don't feel comfortable or don't know, just keep it switched to private. Our priority is having you stay in control. Now, how about where AI lives in Kittle? Well, we have generative tools for things like text and imagery with a variety of models that have been embedded that you can go and choose from so that you can pick the one that works best for your style or project. We have an AI powered tool for style transformations and layout variations. We have an AI powered bulk editing feature on our artboards within the editor. We also have AI to create asset suggestions based on things that you've selected. And all of our AI features, those I just mentioned, are additive. They are never mandatory and they are never going to be up as a part of your process unless you want them to be so. All right, here's how we're using AI internally. So all the assets in the Kittle library are created by our in-house design teams or a trusted design community. And now some of our creators are using AI to enhance their process and some don't. But regardless, all of the assets, the designs, the templates in Kittle are reviewed by humans. Nothing you see is AI only. It might be a mixture, but it's never going to solely be AI. To help with transparency, we're currently working on a labeling system so that you always know something's origin and we'll have corresponding filters in Kittle to help you sort and see exactly what you want and don't see what you don't want. So what's next for AI at Kittle? Well, AI is obviously always evolving and we want to explore more tools that will help you in your process. This will look like tools that help you save and reuse a personal style and help you apply apply that to a new design saving you tons of time. We're also looking into smart predictive tools that are going to do a better job of things like suggesting fonts or elements or colors, color palettes for those design jobs you need to do. Here are a few things we're actively building. One, a community feed of AI powered work and prompts. Two, in Canvas or in editor AI tools for fast concepting. And one of those tools you can actually check out right now if you watch Toby's sneak peek video. Three, again, we're working on a clear asset labeling for AI assisted content. 
Four, deeper onboarding into AI features, meaning educational resources for how you use our AI tools. And five, new controls for managing privacy, visibility, and reuse. All right, let's get to those frequently asked questions now. Is or was my work used to train Kittle's AI? Now, I mentioned this earlier, but you can choose between private mode, the default mode if you have a paid plan, where your generated images and assets stay private and are not used for training, or public mode, where you can opt in to share your generated designs or generated imagery and help improve Kittle's tools for the community. Now, for Kittle's free plan, which is designed for you to get a feel for whether or not Kittle's right for you, the generative AI tools are set to public. The private mode is a paid feature pretty much similar to any other AI program or design tool that has AI in it. That private mode is generally going to be a paid feature. Okay, question. Can I turn off AI in Kittle? You can't switch off AI, but all of our AI tools are optional. So you can easily design without AI if you want to. We're not secretly using AI in the background while you design something in the editor, but just know if you use some common features like removing the background, that's technically using an AI powered tool, even though a lot of people don't, don't even think about that that way anymore. Question, are Kittle's assets AI generated? Meaning the stuff that you see over in the elements panel. Some creators in Kittle will use AI in their process to help make assets or illustrations, but again, everything is reviewed by humans and nothing's gonna be solely made with AI. So we're introducing that labeling system soon to clarify asset origin to help you make the best decision for your project. Question, what AI models does Kittle use? Well, we use a mixture of third-party models for text and image generation. For example, we have Flux, Ideogram, ChatGPT. You can see a full list of this in the drop down of our AI panel, you can select the one that works best for you. Now we also have Kittle specific fine tuning for design tasks that utilize AI. An example of that would be our recent Kittle flows tool. And I don't have a detailed list for what those task actions are, but we are working on an exact list to give it to you soon for full transparency. Question, what about user data, privacy, and security? Again, your work is your work. We don't sell your data or use your private designs for training our models. Projects in Kittle are encrypted, even though they're saved in a cloud, you control what's shared or kept private. The basic rule is if you don't want anything public or shared, just don't invite anyone to your projects. Don't use the share feature. Don't publish your designs to your public Kittle profile. And you can learn all about those things in our Kittle masterclass we have here on the channel. If more one of those words I just said didn't make sense. Question, what Kittle features use AI? Well, there are quite a many, but AI is used to speed up and simplify certain tasks like removing backgrounds from images, creating vectors from a static image, generating images or text with models like Flux or Ideogram, suggesting layouts or style variations, bulk editing across designs, things like color palettes or styles, enhancing search and discovery of assets. But again, you don't have to use these features if you don't want to. Question, can I opt out of seeing content created with AI? This is a very, very good question. The answer is not yet, but we're working on clear labeling of AI assisted content and those filters I mentioned to help hide or show AI used based on your preferences. Question, what kinds of AI features are you exploring next? So we're gonna be building tools to help you with things like auto-generating color palettes and styles. We'll help you start projects from a prompt, create adaptive brand kits, which I'm super excited for. You can remix and evolve your own designs. Question, do creators use AI to design content and templates? Well, I mentioned this a little bit earlier. Some do and some don't. But again, every asset, every file, every design template is reviewed by humans. Nothing is fully AI generated or unedited. And again, those labels that are coming we're going to help you sort through that and know that. We do support a hybrid creativity with full transparency, meaning things used in Kittle or in another program, but also using AI. So Kittle is here to empower your creativity, whether that looks like designing a full brand or just a poster or a digital project or whatever your next big idea is. AI is one more tool that can help you get there. And if you don't like it, no worries, you don't have to use it. So I hope this video helps put some fears to rest and give you an 
inside look at what we're doing with Kittle. If you have further questions or suggestions or just want to share your opinion on the conversation, you can drop that in the comments and we'll collect those, talk about them in our next update. And we're working on getting those labels out, getting that detailed list to you ASAP. So be on the lookout for those. Thank you so much for watching and for using Kittle and we will see you in the next video.